Well, obviously, it was, uh, it was quite a shock to be told that in the early hours of, uh, of Sunday morning, the, the office had been broken into, burgled, and ransacked. Um, and uh, clearly, we, we've been in touch. You know, uh, people who run the office have been in touch with the police, and, and we've been in touch with the police uh, over the last uh, couple of days. Uh, we've now put the office back to order. And uh, as we said, we, you know, our, the business carries on, our work carries on, and, uh, and the meetings have been functioning as of today. What was the extent of the theft and damage? Well, we are doing a final cross-check of, uh, of everything, but uh, what, we, what we know is that uh, we think, and our information is that there, it was a group of people that uh, in the early hours broke in uh, and uh, there was an attempt, there was a lot of opening of, of drawers and cabinets and there was an attempt to open the cabinets and drawers that were locked, some successfully, but of course we only hold uh, information there, some papers, but they're non-sensitive papers, some petty cash was taken, other valuable things that were lying around were not, um, but, uh, but you know, we, I can certainly assure uh, all members out there that uh, information in relation to, to membership or any other sensitive information not held there in an obvious way, it's all on our database, or indeed not held there at all. So we have no concerns of any sort of uh, sensitive material having been disrupted in any way, and it appears to be a, uh, an attempt to, to, to find uh, cash. That is what we are being uh, indicated and told by the police, and, and they are continuing their inquiries. On what do you base the idea that this was done by a group of people? Well, it's the information that we have received from uh, from the, indeed the police and indeed potential witnesses we understand have, have said. Uh, I don't want to say more than that, but we understand it was a group of, of, of people who, who were seen to be leaving the premises uh, in the early hours of, of the morning. And, and I don't want to say more because uh, you know, it's important that the police continue their investigations in an unhindered way and uh, that nothing is said publicly that can affect that investigation. Do you have any worries as to whether the GST was targeted as a political organization? Well, it is strange that someone should enter a political party because, you know, we're not a business, we're not a restaurant, so we don't hold money in any ways. You know, we don't, we're not operating in a commercial way. Um, but no, there's no evidence that we were targeted for political reasons at, at all. Uh, and certainly the information that we have is that it may be unconnected with politics. We happen to have been there and been broken in, and, and that's what we can say at the moment. Will this affect the GSD's election planning at all? No, it's not going to affect our election planning at all. Um, you know, everything that is a sensitive election document is not held there um, at all, and it certainly will not uh, affect our, our election planning as we go forward. That will continue undeterred uh, in the weeks to come as we're ready for the next election campaign.